Everything Kamala says is a lie. She has no vision, no idea. She has no solutions for anything. All she can talk about, this was the other night, they'd ask her a question, say, say, Donald Trump did this, Donald Trump did that. All she can say is, Donald Trump. Kamala is a radical left Marxist, rated even worse than crazy Bernie Sanders or Pocahontas herself. Everything Kamala says is a lie. She has no vision, no idea. She has no solutions for anything. In fact, all she can talk about, this was the other night, they'd ask her a question, say, say, Donald Trump did this, Donald Trump did that. All she can say is, Donald Trump. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I will speak about Donald Trump. 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 Trump. What the hell did I have to do with it? It's all she talked. What are you going to do for the economy? Donald Trump? Man, is she bad? How about 60 Minutes? You see that? Where 60 Minutes defrauded the American public. You saw that. She gave an answer that was so bad, it was grossly incompetent. It was like taking a thousand words and throwing them on a wall. And so they did something that I never thought, that I never even heard of. They took her entire answer out, every word, Steve every word taken out, and they inserted a new answer, and they got caught. So watch what happens. We actually, on your behalf, if you don't mind, we sued CBS in 60 Minutes, okay? Because you know what that is? That's election interference for So their news organization, 60 Minutes is their, is their star, CBS's news organization in the middle of an election, think of that, changed the answer to a question in its entirety, right? I mean, I don't know how they respond to it, but they'll figure a way, I guess. But we did. We brought a suit on Friday against them for a lot of money. That's so terrible. No, I've never heard of a thing like that. I think it's the worst, most egregious broadcast fraud I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of bad things happen with these people, but that's about the worst I've seen. Kamala's campaign is running on nothing but hate and demonization, calling half of America now garbage, you know. If you want to end this disaster, you must get out and vote. We have to stop what's going on in our country. We're not going to have a country anymore. This will be Venezuela on steroids. We're pleased to be joined by House Majority leader, a great person. He's been through hell. And uh, he was shot, violently and viciously shot. And uh, I told him before, you're better looking now than you were years ago prior to that. But I tell you, you are something. This man was, I went to visit him in the hospital and he, one thing I found out, his wife loves him. She was so devastated. I've been to areas where the wives didn't care that much. <laughs> this wife, he's got, a, he's got a great wife, and she loves him. She was so devastated, she couldn't even think. Steve Scully, stand up, Steve. Look great. Amazing. He got hit hard, Mike, right? He got hit hard. He's a great guy. Thank you, Steve, very much. Say hello to your wife and family. Members of Congress, Greg, Murphy and Dan Bishop. Thank you, fellas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Real uh, champions. Candidate for con Congress, and this is a fantastic woman. She has my complete and total endorsement, Lori Buckout. Lori Buckout. Great. Oh. She's something, I'll tell you. I hear you're doing very well. I looked at some good poll numbers. You're doing very well. Close it out. <laughs> Get out. Vote for her. Lori is great. And North Carolina GOP Chairman Jason Simmons. Jason, what a job. Great. We're doing good, right? Yeah, we're doing good. Looks like good. Looks like real good. 
Somebody told me they pulled out. You know what pulling out means? That means they pulled out. They took their money and they ran because they weren't seeing good. I shouldn't tell them that, but, you know, I guess people will figure it out. I might as well be the one. Yeah, they pulled out. I also want to send our prayers to everyone here in North Carolina who's still recovering from this unbelievable hurricane, the size of it, Hurricane Helene. Kamala's hurricane response was a disgrace that it was a betrayal. It was just reported that almost 50 percent of phone calls sent to FEMA were unanswered. They didn't answer. They don't have the money because they're bringing in all the criminal migrants. You cannot trust this person to be president of the United States. She destroyed San Francisco, and she will destroy our country. We're not going to let it happen. Here are the facts. Just in closing, Kamala is a radical left Marxist, rated even worse than crazy Bernie Sanders or Pocahontas herself. She destroyed our economy. She was an original creator of the Fund the Police movement. And anybody who wants to defund the police for, for even one week or one day is not worthy of being President of the United States to me. <laughs> Kamala vowed to abolish ICE, and she pledged to confiscate your guns and endorse a total ban on handgun ownership. She even called for free sex changes for illegal aliens in detention at taxpayer expense. And perhaps, worst of all, she never worked at McDonald's. No, it was a lie. It was a lie. She's a liar. With your vote on Tuesday, we are going to fire Kamala. We are going to save America. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.